we are demonstrating titanium elastic nail or the tens for a displaced fracture radius in a 16 year boy. This is the x-ray with displaced fracture of the both radius and ulna. Yes sir. I am tying the hand to the traction unit. Yes. This is a counter traction unit with a standby tourniquet. The hand is tied to the traction unit and we can give traction. The position of the forearm can be adjusted by rotating on either side into pronation, supination and mid prone position. Now I am giving traction. These are the different thickness titanium elastic nails and this is the gauge to know the thickness of the wire. This is the cobbler's owl to make an entry. This is a bender to bend the nail for the requirement. This is the T-handle check on which this titanium elastic nail is assembled and inserted into the bone. These are the punch and hammer for final seating of the nail. This is the wire cutter for cutting off the excess amount of the focus curve. Number. This is the. This is a 2.5 millimeter titanium nail I am taking, and this is the site where it has the maximum curvature. So accordingly, I will bend this maximum at this side in direction with the bend already this has. This is for the radius. So this is the nail I have selected. This is the level of the radial distal epiphysis about half a centimeter above and dorsal lateral aspect, I am making a small incision with a mosquito forceps. This is the cobbler's owl. I am making an entry this is the this is the pre-bent 2.5 mm L wire. Now I have just entered the proximal fragment. Now I will rotate the nail by 90 degree rotate it by 180 degree so that the curvature I have given will be along the radial natural curvature and drive this into the proximal canal this is the similar 2.5 millimeter tens for the ulna Again, as the fracture is in the distal third, the maximum curvature I am giving at the fracture site. This is the pre-bent tense. This is the tip of the olecranon, about an inch distal to that on the radial side, this is the radial head, on the radial side I am taking a small incision. This is again the cobbler's owl.
you can see I am changing the direction so that I am going into the ulnar canal. Shoot. into the distal canal again I will rotate the nail you can see that you can see here how the intraosseous membrane gets stretched and the bow of the ulna gets restored this length now the excess length of the nail is cut after withdrawing little and the nail is rehammered. This is the bender, a small bend is given Now I am making few hesitation cuts at the tip of the nail Hesitation cuts will help in holding the tip of the nail with a good grip and remove during removal. This is the final seating of the nail. Shoot. Save. The excess length of the nail is measured and cut. cuts to hold the nail for removal. This is the single stitch at the side, ulna entry side near olecranon. This is the single stitch at the distal dorsolateral radial entry. After the nailing is over, this is the left hand, so I am shaking hands with left hand. I am fully supinating and fully pronating so that the interdigitation happens and now I will flex the wrist and give a thumb so that fracture gets compacted. Now we are given 
a above elbow slab this will be kept for about 3 weeks time till soft callus forms and then we will be mobilizing this patient thank you this is the immediate post operative x-ray of the same patient this is the same patient with plaster slab